you have to weigh your options. Do you want to keep having a client base of people that are just looking for cheap service? They are just cheap people. The prices on those trees, Jesus. Hello all and welcome back to my channel. This is Fumibi here again with another video. In today's video, we are starting off with me going to buy pounded yam and vegetable. Tell me you are from Ikiti without telling me you are from Ikiti. <laughs> Through Adeze Space on here on YouTube, I saw her and her friend Nilo going to buy Amala from a particular place out here in Portacot. After going to that place, I saw that they sell other types of Yoruba native foods, right? So Inyon, which is pounded yam. I go there occasionally when I know that I can't be bothered to make those meals for myself. I just want to buy and eat. So I'm going there right now. The place is in GRE and I just thought to come on here to start out this vlog. I packed my hair with claw clips today i got a bunch of claw clips from amazon and i'm loving it i'm wearing this nude one this particular claw clips almost every youtuber both the ones here in nigeria and the ones outside nigeria they talk about it so i don't have an amazon storefront so just go on amazon if you're interested in getting one for yourself yeah so i'm going to get going right now i have my bag already let me show you guys the outfit of the day i started getting into just showing you guys my outfit of the day so i'm just going to do that real quick so i'm wearing this off shoulder top that i got well i didn't get it i made it actually i made it on here well did i have an off shoulder top tutorial on the channel but it's not this particular one so you can check it out i'm going to see if i can link it on the screen if you are a diy girly like me and you just want to make something like this for yourself and i'm wearing this pair of leggings it's it's a casual outing so nothing serious and i'm carrying this sling bag this bag is from miniso the miniso at the mall out here in port Harcourt. so i'm going to get going now and i'll talk to you guys maybe when i get there or when i come back home i don't know hello <laughs> we are back home and here's my food, my pounded yam and a for I'll show you guys, but I don't think you guys care to see. I got two wraps of pounded yam and vegetable soup. A for the one that they use a for shoko. If you guys know shoko, if you're Yoruba and you know all these things, let me know down in the comments. I want to know my fellow Yoruba sisters on here. And then I was on my way home. Anyway, you guys, today is the 4th of December, by the way and i've been seeing a lot of videos on youtube from youtubers i've been enjoying the content first of all i should say that i've been watching a lot of vlogmas videos and i love it from both people outside of nigeria like content creators outside of nigeria and those within nigeria the essence of that whole story there was i've been so jealous i've been like oh my god i wish i could do it i wish i, I genuinely wish i could but i have a lot of other things that are dragging me left and right that i can't i cannot dedicate to doing vlogmas so what i've just told myself is as much as possible in this month of december i'm going to make videos just as they are coming i'm pushing them out and all that and i'm sure you guys might have noticed i don't know if you guys have noticed but yeah that's what i'm trying to do and i got the time to make my my beaded headband so you guys know that's beaded headband that i've made different variations of i decided to make one for myself and i got a request because there was a particular one that i made as a present to someone and there was a twist i did to it and i think someone noticed on my instagram and she was like oh i should put the tutorial but i didn't film that particular one so now that i'm making a different version for myself i plan to film a tutorial and then i'll share it on the channel so yeah this month of december i'm really really hoping and praying that it's a fantastic month like i want to end the year with a bang and i really really trust god that god is going to come through for each and every one of us in jesus name so i'm going to leave now and go devour this food and watch some episodes of the office and then munch my pounded yam and for euro ciao it's a bit later in the day and i want to start filming the tutorial on that beaded headband that i talked to you guys about let me show you guys this um design like um, what they call it now is like an embellishment kind of thing i saw this particular dress that vicky james made and it has like it had like um petal detailing something like what we have going on here so I filmed a tutorial on how you guys can replicate something like this. As I was saying, I want to go start working on that tutorial real quick. And I've already set up and everything because I did a bit of clearing up my space earlier in the day. I just want to turn on my lights. This is my 
AliExpress lights. It has been giving what it's supposed to give. And I love that. I love that. I you see the difference there. That lighting makes in everything. Everywhere just looks good. For me, eh, personally, with people that are trying to get into content creation and all of that, above your device, right? So maybe your, let me now. The light is too much, we need to rest. Beyond your camera or your phone or any of those things, I feel like lighting and sound are two very important things that prospective content creators should focus on. So the money you want to go and use to buy camera, if you if you don't have like a lot of capital, you can start off with using your phone to film and then that money that you want to use to go and buy a camera, use it to get light. So if you cannot afford an iPhone or a big Samsung phone or any of all these latest phones that have good cameras, use whatever Android phone of a phone that has camera right. You cannot use touch light phone to start content creation, but you need a camera phone, right? And then invest in good lighting and sound, okay? And there are so many cheap microphones on the market these days, so you should look into those. And then with time, when you grow your money and you have money to buy a camera, you can now, you know, move into buying camera. I don't even know how I got here, but yeah, I want to get straight into filming the headband tutorial when i finish it i'm going to show you guys the end result so see ya all right guys so i just finished clearing up i still left my things spread out on the table because i'll most likely finish up that headband tomorrow so i don't want to pack up and then unpack again tomorrow i'm too lazy for that kind of wahala so i'm going to call it a night now i'm currently exporting tomorrow's video tomorrow is sunday and sunday is video day i'll go and check it out now and then upload it on the channel and schedule it for tomorrow and yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow bye bye hello today is sunday and i'm currently heading to church it's like 8 20 i'm late this is the outfit of the day i've had this outfit since 2019 and it still fits that tells me that I've not added so much weight between that time and now. And I like that for me. I'm going to see if I can put a, a sidebar of the full outfit, but this is it. This is what I'm wearing. And I'm carrying this Congolo bag. It's a small, cute bag from Zara. And this is the entire outfit. You guys remember this headpiece? I decided to wear it with this particular outfit because this outfit has like traces of green on it. I decided to wear this as well with it and i think this is decent enough for church i'll most likely talk to you guys i've not finished that headband from yesterday i'll most likely talk to you guys when i get back from church because i'm already running very very late for church so ciao hi guys so i came to next to buy a few things and it's so rowdy i'm currently on my way home after church and there are so many christmas decorations inside next and now I will. I'm talking about how I want to set up a Christmas tree in our home for the first time this year. And I saw a couple of really nice Christmas trees. It's just to get myself to prepare where I'm going to place it first of all in the house. And then which one? Because they are, the prices on those trees, Jesus, is a lot. So I'm trying to see if I can decide on one, of course, with my husband. And then maybe we'll come back and pick up one. God willing. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys when I get back home. Okay. Hi guys. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? So I'm back home and I think I want to end this vlog. I know it's really short and that's because my vlogs are still, they're still a work in progress. And I know that you guys tend to not watch it for very long. So I want to keep them very, very short and straight to the point. But there's something I want to quickly talk about. And I think I need to sit down first to talk about this. So one second. All right, guys. So I got a comment on one of my videos. I can't remember which video exactly it was. I think I'm seeing something on my lens. One second. All right. So I got a comment on one of my videos from one of us, and she was basically saying that I think it was a video where I either the video where I made the purple um, headband, the purple Ashoke headband that has like bead detailing, gold and purple detailing on it. The tutorial is on the channel, and I'm going to try and link that tutorial on the screen. But she was basically talking about how she liked the end result of that particular headpiece, but that her issue is the fact that her client base 
cannot necessarily that she knows the, basically that she knows the people that she has and they would not be able to afford that quality of work and i totally understood and i will, I, I don't think i i gave like a response to it because she was basically asking me what she could do to just attract maybe paying clients right clients that are willing to pay for the quality of work that she um, does basically and my response to that is you have to weigh your options do you want to keep having a client base of people that are either they don't see the value in your work or they are just looking for cheap service they are just cheap people for lack of a better word you are going to have to wait do you are you willing to are you desperate to just have so that it's not be as if you don't have clients you just want to have people and say okay me too i'm making headpieces for people or do you want to filter out the wheat from the chaff now do you want to try and grow your clients base such that you have people that know the value that you are rendering with the quality of work that you do and are willing to pay you and reward you for that kind of service so it's now left for you to decide there are times when people come to me and say oh for me can you make a headpiece for for me and then i send them the you know the cost of the headpiece and then either they say oh i'll get back to you or oh it's too expensive and the way i do my business is such that when you tell me stuff like it's too expensive I give you the breakdown of everything I'm going to use to make your headpiece. So if you now look at the, you know, the breakdown and you say, okay, you want to come with your own materials for me to just put them together and then you're paying me for just the service. That's your call, right? But I always try my, when I have people just going back and forth like that. And it's, it's totally okay if someone says that they cannot afford your service at that point in time. Me personally, I don't take it personal. A lot of people, I don't know if they're following me on here on YouTube, they can attest to the fact that when you reach out to me and you say, oh, I want to do this, and I tell you the cost, and you're like, oh, I cannot afford this. I'm not the kind of person that will say, oh, because of that, I'll be angry with you or something. I move on, I know that's okay. You win some, you lose some. So the summary of my response is you have to insist on it. If you've done your mathematics and you are not you are not running a charity organization, it's different if maybe your business is a charity and it's like a non-profit kind of system. You're not trying to make profits. You just want to be passionate and render your passion to the world. That's a different... But if you know it's a business you're running and you're looking to make profits, you have to put your feet on the ground and make people understand that, okay, this is, this is the reason why this thing costs. And you know, if you've not seen the video where I talked about how to place a price on your service, you should totally check it out. I'm going to try link it somewhere on the screen in that video i i basically shared how i normally come up with prices for my headpieces or anything that i'm making really because i i think i've kind of diversified now i don't do just headpieces like i do bridal hand fans and things like that shabo in that video i shared how you come up with your price and if, if you've looked closely and you know that okay this is the reason why i'm putting this amount of money on this particular item right you should be able to put your feet on the ground and know that okay that's how much it is so it's not left for you and, and like i always say i've i've only been doing this for one year right i started my business at the beginning of 2022 and i've learned a lot if you guys want me to share a video on, on the lessons i've learned in one year of running a business in portacot in nigeria let me know down in the comment section but there are periods when you will not necessarily get people reaching out to you but thankfully for me i have a youtube channel right so in in times when maybe i'm not getting clients orders i'm making videos for my youtube channel and i'm placing my video and my videos are pay me at the end of the day so if it's that you have to sit down and look for a side hustle with your headband business please do so you don't have to sit down on that mountain and be like oh this is where I, like end all be all if you are in a situation where you are basically trying to grow paying clients if it's something that you have to look for a side hustle please look for a side hustle if it means starting up a youtube channel please start up a youtube channel and make pieces upload on youtube at the beginning I'm not promising you that your YouTube channel will start to make big bucks from the start, but if you dedicate six months, okay, to doing good good work on YouTube and posting quality content, it will pay off at the end of the day, right? So I hope everything I'm saying makes sense to you, to everyone, and to the person that asked this question in particular. Just do your, weigh your options. And now we are the, already at the end of the year, right? So sit down with yourself. Think of what you want to do starting off in 2023. If it's that your business is not making as much profit, what can you do to either change that situation or, you know, pivot a little bit and, and, and just make progress, basically. Don't allow the fact that you don't have paying clients hold you back from, you know, achieving all that you can achieve in life, okay? So I hope that my little talk right there was helpful i hope you guys basically understood the message that i was trying to pass across so yeah that's it for what i wanted to talk to you guys about thank you guys again for watching this video if you enjoyed watching please don't forget to give it a big, big fat thumbs up it was a very cute little <laughs> vlog so if you enjoyed watching please give the video a big fat thumbs up also if you're yet to be subscribed to this channel on this channel i make things i teach you how to make hair accessories jewelry 
things share i'm a diy girly so i like to share those things that i make on here on my youtube channel so if you'd be interested in being a part of us on here please be sure to hit the subscribe button also don't forget to turn on that post notification right beside the subscribe button so you'll be the first to know every single time i post a new video thank you guys so much for watching and i can't wait to see you in another video Bye bye